Hi guys, I am Parways and this is our 24th lesson and in this lesson we are going to start a database programming in PyQt5. Uh, also we are going to use MySQL database. Now the first thing you need, you need to install this library. It's MySQL Connector Python. It is a MySQL driver written in Python which does not depend on MySQL client libraries. So uh, it's the latest release and the latest version. You can just use pip install on MySQL, MySQL connector Python. So after installation of this, also we need to use WAMP server. So if you're on Windows, uh, you can use WAMP server. And uh, I think if you're in Linux, you can use LAMP. And also there are different uh, versions that you can use. So now I have already installed WAM server and this is my WAM server and in here I will create a database using PyQt5 Gooby. So now I have opened uh, my QT designer. Now I need to design my uh, my application. So first I'm going to choose widget and after that I'm going to click on create. Uh, so in here, uh, I need to add a horizontal layout, so I'm going to just add a horizontal layout. And after adding horizontal layout, we need to add a line edit. And also, we need to add a label. So after adding this, now we need two push buttons. Uh, so for this also, I'm going to add a horizontal layout. Uh, two Q push buttons I need. So now this is my first push button, and this is the second push button. And uh, also, I need to add a label in here in this section. Now I'm going to just uh, make this layout vertically. Uh, so let me uh, preview this uh, okay now you can see that this is my design now uh, it's not looking good because we need to add a spacer in here uh, so for this we are going to just uh, from the spacers we are going to add a vertical spacer in here uh, in this section and now we can make it smaller uh, so now if I preview this yeah now it's looking good uh, so the first thing I need I'm going to change this to uh, to database name and uh, the line edit I want to change the object name to line edit DB name we have two Q push buttons, so the first one is for create database and we need to change the object name to create DB and we have another push button uh, and it is for database connection, so database connection and change the ID to dbcon and this is the text label we can just change the font size from here and I want it should be 14 bold and I don't want this label in here now after creating of our design now we need to save this I'm going to just save this and I want to call it database so database.ui so now we are going to copy this uh, our file and we want to add this in the scripts folder because we want to convert this. So I'm going to just just add this in the scripts folder and in here because I'm using PyYUIC5. Uh, so now it's the by yuic5 and in here you can open your terminal open terminal so this is the terminal and you can see it's the location is scripts folder and we can say py uh, p 
py uh, uic5 and you need to give the name of your ui file and uh, the output is database.py and x so now it's converted to python file and now you can see database.py we can bring this in our folder and let's find this okay now this is database.py so now this is our file and now let me just run this okay now this is our file now I want when I enter a DB name and when I click on the create database I want to uh, create uh, the database in my this uh, in the web server PHP my admin so now for this the first thing you need uh, I have already said that we are using mysql dot connector so we need to import this import import mysql dot connector as mc uh, after importing uh, the mysql connector now we can create our method uh, in here so I'm going to just call it if create database so first we need to create our DB so I'm going to call it my DB and MC dot connect and in here we need to give the host so it is local host and after that we need to give the user the user is root and also password I don't have any password for this uh, so after doing this now we need to create cursor object so I'm going to just say cursor and my DB dot cursor uh, now we need to get the name from our this uh, line edit uh, the value from this line edit the database name we need to get that now for this I'm going to just say DB name and we can say solve dot line edit DB name dot text so after this now we need to execute our query so we need to use cursor dot execute and in here we can say uh, create database and dot format and db name now we need to add accept so accept mc dot error as e uh, also we need to just set uh, our label now I think I haven't changed the ID so it's label 2 now I can say solve dot label 2 dot set text and we can say database created DB name and after that and also in the except we want to if uh, the database creation was failed we can just say solve dot label to dot label to dot set text and we can say database creation failed uh, now we are going to connect this uh, with the push button that we have so it's push button create db and we can say solve dot push button create db dot clicked dot connect and it is solve dot create database 
Now I want to run this. Okay, now in here I'm going to add a database name. So for example, I want to create a database of PyQt5. And in here I want to click on create database. Now database PyQt5 created. Now if I check my WAMP server, so right now I don't have PyQt5 and if I refresh, so you can see now I have PyQt5 in the WAMP server. Right now there is no table for this. Now let's check the DB connection. Uh, so for this I'm going to just create another method in here. So diff DB connect. So try uh, the first thing we need to add uh, this mm, connection. And this time I want to add also a database because now I have a database by QT5. It's my database name. And if the connection was successful, I'm going to just say self dot label result label two dot set text. I want to say there is a connection. And in the except mc dot error as e, I want to just say self dot label two dot set text error in connection. Now also we need to connect this. So with the push button db con solve dot push button uh, dbcon dot clicked dot connect with self dot db connect so right now if you see uh, our database is uh, correct and I should receive a connection in here so if I say database connection, you can see there is a connection. Now, if I change this to, for example, PyQt, I don't have this database in my WAM server, I should receive an error in here. And if I click on database connection, now you can see error in connection. So thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the source codes, you can just check my website, geekscoders.com. And also you can check video description for the source codes.